Law number 16, 40 laws of power. Use absence to increase respect and honor. What that means is you don't want to you want to water yourself down. If people see you too much, they lose respect for you or your respect is not as valuable. You're not as valuable as a person if everybody has access to you. That's the problem. We're too, we're too accessible as people. When we get to the status in life, we're too accessible. We feel like we gotta be outside. We feel like we gotta be around. We gotta be with around the cool shit, around the... You're gonna have to, gonna have to close access off to yourself. You gotta duck off sometimes. You can't be at every event. That's why I put myself on house arrest. I can't be outside. You already see me enough on motherfucking on, on this podcast on the internet. I don't need to be at every event. I need I need when I step outside, like my presence is is it's like you surprised by it. You love it. You want more of me. Cause you're not getting enough of me. We feel like when we get all this fucking money, we feel like when we get this fucking power, that we gotta show ourselves more. Oh, I gotta show this shit off. Oh, I gotta I gotta be here. Or oh, I gotta I gotta show up to every fucking no, you gain you you you're more valuable when you're not seen. When you off the scene, when people don't see you, we gotta learn that. We gotta learn to close the access. We sh- we can't be as accessible as we was back in the day. We can't be accessible to all the homies we used to fuck with, to all the to all the women we used to fuck with. Everybody can't have your. Everybody can't just be able to call you. Everybody can't just be able to pull up on you when they want to. People should feel honored when you pull up to their fucking event. Or to their situation. Because you don't really show up for nothing. Jay-Z not pulling up to everybody's shit. Because he understand that. I understand my value. Everybody wants me out. Everybody want me places. Everybody want me on a song. I have been there, done that, bro. I already proved myself. Why I got to be outside for? Why I got to be in everything? If anything, you make people come to you. That's how we need to be playing it. You need to build yourself up. Of course, in the beginning stages, yes, you need to be outside. You need to, you need to make yourself known. Get your money up. Get your status up. And once you get that, you need to fall back. You don't, You already did it. You're not going to gain any more status from being outside shaking hands all the time. Make your presence felt. You have a reason to be going to these places, to be meeting people. The law of absence and presence. Once you become too noticeable, once you become too reachable, people don't appreciate you. Once you're being seen too much, it gives people the the... It opens the door for jealousy and envy. When you're seen too much, when you out, when you when you out flaunting and showing shit off, it opens that door for it. It opens the opportunity for shit to happen. That's why it's, it's cool to stay in the house. It's cold outside. It is cool to stay in the house. There's nothing wrong with being in the crib. You think I pay all this fucking rent to just be outside all the time? You think I got all this fucking nice ass furniture? I got this big screen TV with this comfortable ass couch. Sit your ass in the house, man. Sit in the crib. Ain't too much can happen while you're sitting in the crib. Ain't nothing too much that can happen when you're at your crib in your own comfort. The more you're seen and heard from, your value degrades. The more you're outside, the more people see you, your value is going down. Because you're becoming a regular person at this point. Oh, he a regular. I see this nigga all the time. Oh, I see this nigga all the time. But just imagine you ain't see me in three months. Oh, damn. Yo, what up, my nigga? Like, it's a different, it's a different effect. It's a, it's a different feeling. People approach you different. People treat you different when they don't see you all the time. Damn, bro, where the fuck you been at, bro? They don't know. They can't, they can't put a finger on what the hell you got going on or what you doing. When they see you every day, bro, you become a regular. Nothing special. So when you die, right? When people die, just imagine how people feel, right? You're like they, they think about you a lot. You're respected more. You know, like it's a lot of people showing up for you because they know that they'll never see you again. That's the power of using your your absence, making people respect your presence, making people respect you while you're here. Because when people people show up like that because they know they'll never get this moment again in life. So just imagine if I barely come out. And I make an announcement like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, he gonna show up or some shit like that. People gonna pull up because they don't never know when they might see me again. I gotta go meet this nigga. I gotta go shake this nigga hand. I got to. But just imagine if I stepped out of every fucking event. There's nothing special about me showing up. There ain't nothing about me being here. There's nothing. 
For what? Because I could catch him again. I can always see this nigga. Or just a nigga of a mother of a motherfucker plotting on you. They know that they're gonna they gonna run into you. This nigga be outside all the time, man. We catch this nigga. We're gonna catch this nigga slipping. There's nothing. But when you know how to move mysteriously, you know how to move like a you know how to move. Nigga can't nigga can't set you up like that. I even use this shit with women. With women, I might go on a date, right? I go on a date, bro, after that, man, I fall back. You're not gonna get a second date out of me in a couple days. Or nothing. I fall the fuck back. We might be talking on the phone for a few days. I'm gonna fall the fuck back. I ain't gonna call you, I ain't gonna text you because I need you to, I need you to appreciate my presence. I need you to appreciate every time that we talk or link. I, I don't know when the fuck I might see this nigga again. I don't know when the fuck we might talk again. Let me just get this nigga some pussy. I'm telling you, that's, I use that shit to my, I, I understand that. I don't use it just to get pussy, but I understand like, you gotta make people appreciate your presence, your time. Respect me, res know that I'm valuable. No, I got other shit going on. I ain't got time to be sitting here with you all day. I ain't got the time. <laughs> I ain't got the time. Even if I do got time, I can't let people get comfortable with that. Because once you get people, once you get women comfortable with, with, with you giving them time, dates and shit like that, they get used to that and they get comfortable with that. So when, now when you take a step back, later down the line, now you switched up on them. I do that shit from the beginning. I fall the fuck back. I take steps back, I play hot. Oh, I like you, I love you, mm, come here. Then I fall the fuck back. I call my phone, I, I can't pick up right now. Let's hang out, I can't do it right now. So they know not to fucking play. When, when I call you, when I say let's link, you know. But let you motherfucking not pick up the phone. Let you not let you let you try to curve me or stand me up or tell me you ain't got time right now. Oh, bet. I'm not trying to play no game with you, but hey, all right. Well, my time is very valuable. I don't know when you might get this chance again in your life. So, man, 